Okay, running day two uh, in barefoot shoes. Um, it uh, feels pretty good today. I'll uh, tell you that um, yesterday I wore my shoes all day long after the run. Um, and uh, my wife and I, we went to ice in Grapevine, which is like, um, for those of you who don't know, it's a bunch of uh, ice sculptures inside the Gaylord Texan, and they keep the inside of that place at 9 degrees. And so, while we were there, um, I got to see how uh, these shoes do in the cold. I'll say that they're not great for nine degrees. However, I was in there for about 30 minutes and it wasn't like I was getting frostbite or anything. Um, but that being said, I was also wearing a pair of um, nice wool socks. I only wear smart wool socks. Um, I just found that they're the best socks that I've worn. Uh, very comfortable, and they do make thicker versions. I have a couple of uh, medium hiking socks, which are already really thick socks. Um, but yeah, so those work really well for um, uh, cold. But yesterday, I was wearing just a regular everyday wool sock. It's actually what I'm wearing this morning too. And uh, they held out okay for 30 minutes. My feet weren't feeling numb. I could definitely tell that my feet were protected uh, because my ears got very cold. And so did uh, my hands, but uh, I digress. Um, so today, uh, I'm going to go a little bit farther than yesterday. I think I went about two and a half miles. Probably going to push three or four, if not further. We'll see. I got to work today. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to switch from uh, my barefoot shoes to my regular work boots. You know, uh, which I wear a pair of Danners work boots. They're really good, but they're just really cushioned too. And so it's not like wearing a barefoot shoe. But yeah. So, so far, feel pretty good. Um, kind of my feet. Like, I'm starting to feel my feet a little bit more today. I'm starting to feel the ground. Feels a little bit harder. Um, not so much soreness yet, uh, but, uh, feels like it's coming. And then my, uh, calves, uh, specifically the sides of my calves, not necessarily the big bulk in the back of my calves, but the side of my calves are hurting a little bit. And I'm sure someone down in the comments going to go and be like, well, you're running this way, you're landed with this way and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, first of all, and if y'all that say I'm landed with a heel strike, it's not possible in these shoes. You'd break your heel. So I am landing with a midfoot to forefoot strike, which is really good uh, because that's one of the benefits of wearing barefoot shoes is it almost naturally corrects your posture, your running posture, uh, running form, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but there's a lot more cars on this street than there normally is. There's almost never anybody over here. And now there's like 30 freaking cars. But yeah, so day two, getting after it. I bet you David Goggins is somewhere getting after it too. 
Uh, if you haven't read his book, man, I've spent hours of my runs listening to him talk about how he broke himself off and then imagining how I'm not going to do that because I can't afford to break myself off too bad and I don't have anything to prove right now I just need to gain I need to get faster I want to run five minute miles um and so I've noticed like I run a lot I run a lot of long distance and I've always hated running but I don't anymore um so I mean I guess I hate it whenever it's 5 30 in the morning and I have to get out of bed to do it uh which is basically the only time I have or when it's been a long work day and I gotta get out there and uh go run for miles yeah that sucks I'd rather be doing other things but about 10 minutes into my run it's all I want to do just get out there and run see how far I can go and how fast I can get there um yeah so I'm approaching a mile right now uh, and the railroad tracks this is gonna be nice I'm gonna get to run over the railroad tracks in these shoes um but yeah, uh, if you want to know where I'm running at, uh, I live in Louisville, and so I run over by Railroad Park. It's a pretty freaking awesome place to run. Um, and uh, if you got time, go check it out. They've also got a skate park. I'll take my uh, my rollerblades and skate over there can't right now because it's raining and so well it's not raining right now but kind of throughout the days it's been raining and so those roller blades and wet ramps don't mix but yeah getting after it um I don't know what else to say my legs don't hurt that bad you gotta wait for these trucks to go. Right. Yeah. I think I'm gonna take a right turn today. Go out of the park. So it's nice and flat out here. Very flat. Very, very flat. But yeah. So, um, I don't know if there's anything else I got to say on this one. Uh, I want to keep you guys up to date. I'm going to do a little bit of cross training today. So, it's not just going to be running in these shoes. I want to get to the gym and uh, just see how they feel. Kind of walking in and out. I'm going to be landing heavy on my feet a couple of times because I'm going to be doing some weighted uh, weighted pull-ups today probably. Uh, I'd like to do weighted sit-ups, but that require me to bring my rucksack in. Um, but yeah. We'll see what happens. Um, anyways, hope y'all can get out there and get after it too. Uh, Hope you all have a good day and check out some barefoot shoes if you can. Man, they feel so different. And according to all of the uh, YouTube experts and the crazy people, uh, crazy hippies, uh, barefoot shoes are the way to go. Uh, I'll, I'll say this. Uh, when I put these shoes on yesterday, and I started running them, my feet didn't really hurt, you know, it's like, uh, and also my knees, my hips didn't hurt anymore, 
you know, it didn't, it's not like it caused any problems. Uh, I could feel the pressure in my feet, still feel the pressure in my feet. And I'm starting to get a little bit of soreness there, but apparently that's supposed to be temporary until your foot adapts. I used to run in a pair of Peggy, of Nike Pegasus, and I'll still run in those shoes uh, because I'd like to uh, see whenever I'm running for time, uh, whenever I'm working on my speed work, if it'll help out to switch over to a pair of shoes like that. Um, so I'll still do that. But, um, when I first put those shoes on, they were painful. My freaking heel hurt. My freaking knees started hurting. And not just like a normal hurt, like, oh yeah, I feel like I'm working out. Like, right now, my bottom of my feet feel like I'm working out. I feel like I'm doing some work in. But when I put on those Pegasus, man, ankles hurt, heels hurt. You know, I was like, am I doing this wrong? And I keep lacing them. Because I felt like they weren't tight enough on my feet. And these shoes are loose as heck on my feet. And they don't feel like they're coming off. I don't have any heat pain. I got nothing. So, I don't know what that says. But the fact that I put on that other pair of shoes with a big heel drop... And then I put on these, zero heel drop, and there was no, like, abnormal pain when I put on these, but there was with the bigger heel drop. I don't know what that means. I just know that my feet like these better. Uh, so, that's the end of day three. Uh, at least the running portion of it may tack some on later. May, uh show you guys a video of the shoes themselves so you can just check them out um but yeah uh so end of day two i don't know if i said day three just a second ago never mind me i've been running for what seems like 20 miles it's been like a mile and a half uh, uh end of day two uh hope you guys come back for day three Day one and day two will probably get get posted at the same time. So if you see two days pop up, uh, yeah, it's because I posted them at the same time. Because I was on a vacation with my wife yesterday, mini staycation, and uh, I had to spend some time with her. Kind of lost track of everything, but yeah. So I'll check you guys later. Y'all have a good one. Go check these shoes out.